across the fog to the lands between to stand before the Elden Ring and become the Elden Lord. Welcome back to Elden Ring. We're continuing northwards in Leonia. And here we go. Heading up towards this bridge, which we probably can't go across. And much later on to the minor Erd tree. But we're taking it one step at a time here. We got a wolf. We got many wolves. Just regular wolves, though. Nothing too threatening. Ah, the alpha wolves are up on top. Ow. What were you guys? What were you guys guarding? Some beast blood. The beast blood was not in the beasts. Fascinating. From this vantage point, not seeing too much else up here. So that's nice. Or, yeah, it's okay. Here's a fun place to look over the battle going on below. Looks like if we don't walk down there, it doesn't summon all the extra guys. So they're just kind of fighting between themselves in a smaller battle. There's no, no armored troll coming to annihilate them all. Golden room. Here's the overview of down there, where we were last time. A nice dark area. So that's obviously where you're going to find sunflowers. In the shade. Of course. A little... Crab over here. Always good. A crystal bud. Root resin. So we got a bit of a graveyard going on over here. And more wolves. We're going with multiple of the stronger wolves now. Makes things a little bit more dangerous. And we get some flasks back. Very nice. Seems to be a lot of wolves in this area so far. And that's okay. Uh, we're up to a full stack of golden runes again. Which is always fun. We probably have just so many runes in our inventory right now. Yeah. All of this combined is going to be many but I like saving them if we're like halfway to a level and that's like about this many runes at this point getting enough to finish it up is fairly expensive All right, can we get on top of this Immediately jumps off it again. I 
wonder if our jumps are gonna be enough. Up here. Or up here. My precarious location. Okay. Nope. Doesn't look like it. Oh, we have fun. That's a big rock. What about from the other side? Mm, looks pretty steep. climb up on top of this. It's like quite the quite the angle on this. It's a slippery one. Yep, there's there there's those wolves we killed. Oh boy. Okay. So if we look here, we're heading up into a fo the forested section now. Got some gravestones. Would not be surprised if we got some undead up in here. Instead, giant crab. Likely dog. Whatever you say, messages. Oh, you killed something. I think, I think that giant crab squished the smaller crab. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Well. Unfortunate for him. There's a nice bit of water to jump into and die. Some birds. What are we seeing all the way over there? That is... Bestial Sanctum? I guess, yeah. That's a long distance away. And we could travel there instantly, because we have fast travel. That is an option. Doesn't look like we're finding much else in the lake there. Just a crab. Crabbing it up. Here's a nice spot we can jump up here again if we wanted to. This would make it much faster to get back to this point. We can go come from that side of Grace right over there. Okay. Bunch of skeletons climbing into this. Concerning. Skeletons. So there's a skeleton tree. Possibly old parts of an herb tree or something. Some kind of roots. No longer here. Connected to anything. Okay. Oh. Get some flasks back. Always nice. So they're trying to jump up on here. Or just or just down there. That that's fine too. Go for it. Go for it. These poor scarabs. Just trying to do their job. Sanctuary stone. Ah, Mariner. You would think there'd be the bit of information about Deathroot nearby. Apparently not. 
A ranged battle, you say? Yeah. I don't know if that's necessary. Well, what's he gonna do? He's going up in the air. Oh, it's quite a splash. Let's get some stamina back. Just a little splash back. Mostly just squish and torn at this point. He doesn't seem to be summoning anybody. Oh, here we go. Anyway, for that. Taking care of your summons while you're trying to go up here boating on land like a crazy person. Where'd you get all that water from? I mean, he's boating on land. I guess we can't be too surprised. He can do whatever he wants. Tibia Mariner. Damn. 4,700 runes. And the Death Run. And skeletal bandit ashes. Ooh. What kind of level is that guy? Skeletal bandit. Looks like a lower level one. Spirit of a skeletal bandit. This is the spirit of a bandit who lives in death. Will continue to rise again until properly finished off. After the night of the plot, death road appeared in the lands between. Those who live in death soon followed. Fancy. I can see the skeletal summons being possibly good if the enemy doesn't take down when they're trying to resurrect. That could be fancy. I think I still want to upgrade one of the bigger guys. So that is that taken care of. And here we find a lily. A smithing stone three. Nice. Blood roses. Alright, cool. We can also go and bring that death root over. To the bestial sanctum. Which we saw off in the distance. Looks like that might be about it for stuff here. Not like a huge ruins or anything. Just a small lake with a couple undead in it. Or those who live in death. Everybody here seems to be mostly undead. Because of reasons. They are, a, they are a special bunch. Much reviled in the lands between. A bunch of wolves over that way. That's like getting a good vantage point. It's always a good time. There's some buildings over there. There's a smaller tower than an even bigger tower. No, 
down here now. Any wolves up on top of here? Nope. Oh, that's a lot of wolves. Flash back from that. Right. Good jump there. That was good. Yeah, there's a whole pack over there. Behold, dog. Yeah, this is right up from. Yeah, we can also come. Right from there. So, this is getting back up to here. It's most of this area. Perfect. Uh, only have three flasks left. I think that's still enough. We can go and mess with these wolves over here. So looks like we got... Two weaker wolves and four stronger wolves. That's a lot of wolves. I might be a even stronger wolf. And I might everything. One down. There's always the option to not do this on horseback. Where's the fun of that? And the wolves are gone. Lots and lots of wolves. Lots and lots of wolves. over there is going to be the main castle area here. Looking very cool. Way up there. We're kind of just going around the lake currently. That's okay. Do some urgent heals here. Preserve the flasks. Flasks. For a bit. I right, took out those dogs. Wolves, even. Back in the forest near the lake. Row of fruit, also fun. That looks like a way to not go. There's definitely some stuff down there, though. No jumping. Oh, there's there's a spot. House ahead. Hmm. Try going down here. Looks exciting. Seems like a lot of people have had difficulty. Nice. This is quite the falling. Quite the falling area. Okay. And then over there. 
Perfect. Jarberg. Okay. Just come down on the roof here. Grab a smithing stone. Alright, here we are. We found a new place. Down in the darkness. Jarberg. We got more than enough runes to level up here. I'm gonna put them in dexterity. Only level 18, but we got the ring that gives a whole bunch of extra dexterity. Or, not the ring, trinket or something. Ring equivalent. So I just need a few more levels to get to a weapon I wanna try. Jarber. Hammer taking on all at once and then sadness of sadness. Oh boy. This is like down here below. Technically we could have come here with the road. That would have been easier. But what, when do we ever do the easy path? Golden ring. So the forest down below here. We'll go this way first before we explore actual town. Ah, we got the money coffins. Always a good time when you find a graveyard so you can steal everything. <laughs> Just riding through, snatching up everything. Interesting, they only have golden runes. That's not my problem. It's my benefit, I suppose. Okay. That does not look like there's anything lower down than this. Consult the map. Yeah, like, this entire side here is a no go. Well, that was good. Going right down there. Get a bunch of free rooms. Just walking around this house, destroying everything. Doesn't need to be an entrance, though. That's okay. Alright, let's see what we got going on over here. Cola's Lily. Poison Bloom. A little jar guy. alive it's moving it's probably alive friend ahead no attacking hello cos oh. what are you doing here I didn't think anyone knew about this place except us jars ah are you going to be the new potentate Yes. Gosh, truly. That's wonderful news. It's not easy being potentate, though. I know. Show me your hands. It's just a little test, cuz. To see if you've got the right stuff. Hmm. Your skin isn't so smooth, is it? You need slick slidey hands to be potentate, you know? I'm sorry, cuz. But I don't think you've got what it takes. What a shame. Well, that's unfortunate. Or fortunate. I'm not sure. Don't look so glum, cuz. We can still chat. Potentate or not, come back and visit me. When you can. Didn't expect, friend. Don't look so good. We can still come back and visit. Okay. Well, we're not gonna not gonna be the leader of this group, possibly. That could be what that means. Yep. 
Anyways. Got some stuff in the forest. Potberg. Where the pots are. Why not? I'm taking that golden rune. Doesn't seem to be much opportunity to go inside any of these buildings. Maybe there'll be more down below. Also something over here. Yeah, all sorts of flowers. And a cracked pot. Oh, what? That part of the fence I destroyed flew all the way over here. Secret. Mm, probably not. The secret is you die. Clearly. There's a very big pot. They've got all sorts of flowers and such here. Some more concerning than others. Ritual pot. A key item. Okay. For ritual pot items. Any pot somehow mends itself when broken. Special item with greater durability than a cracked pot. Essential vessel for crafting ritual pot items. She has some magic to within deploy their effects when the pot is thrown. So a different kind of crafting pot. Oh, here it is. This one. Beast lure pot. Yeah, these are in the ritual pot. Luring beasts and stopping flask use. Interesting. So previously we had none of those pots, so we wouldn't have been able to make them even if we wanted to. But now we have the technology. Don't you dare. <laughs> don't smash the pots. I don't think they'd appreciate that. This is in fact... Jarberg, Potberg. There are more jars. Everybody's just here hanging out. I'm just stealing all their flowers. They have a lot of flowers. If it wasn't so dark here, it would be very nice. That's okay. Just casually strolling around. Stealing all the flowers. And a cracked pot. Okay. It's all friends. All friends here. And a cracked pot. And a living jar shard. That was a very interesting town. Hey there. Don't you dare. <laughs> what you looking at? Can I jump on top of you? Could this be a bridge? Doesn't look like it. So I have to make it underneath this bridge. Is there? Looks like there should be a bridge here. All the more betrayal. Time for jumping. Yeah, the map? Looks like there should be a road here. Hmm. Interesting. Message? Be the way map? Yeah, the map says... Map says there should be. Uh, 
running required. Get up on top of that. I don't know about that. I don't know about all that. Should update the map here. Not too accurate. It doesn't seem. So he has a message up in the tree. That's fun. Okay. So this is just a place down here. Get some stuff. Talk to a jar. Why not? Why not? Seems like none of the buildings are really accessible. There's a thing up there. We go up. Oh no, we smashed some pots. We're doomed. A ritual pot. Interesting. Interesting. Don't look so good. We can still come back and visit. Okay. Well, if I get smooth hands somewhere, we can come back here, I guess. Whatever that means. Let's we'll see how many of these flowers respawn. Just be able to. Enjoy the town here a little bit. The poison bloom respawns. The sunflowers respawn. Oh yes, it's still nice. This is a great spot for all these flowers. If you want to get a bunch of these. Cool. Haven't really needed to farm up a bunch of supplies for anything yet. But if the time ever comes good to have ideas. Their name is Jar Bairn. Okay. Sure. So by the looks of things, we can't actually get out of here since this road doesn't exist. So we're going to go back over this way. Then we can take the spirit straight spirit spring back upwards. There's the eye person, still looking for eyes. I don't have any eyes. That that I'm not using. Back up here we go. Through the lake that no longer has undead problems. Avoid most of the wolves off the that way. Try heading over to the tower here. Having much luck on that. That's that's gonna be the entrance to the tower down below. Okay. Got any dead? Those are living dead? Of course we do. Dragonfly heads. Oh boy. Their whole coming back thing really has become less significant now that we know we can get rid of them. Becomes just a extra hit you need to do instead of a whole thing. 
who have we got over here? That seems a pretty strong knight. Oh, he's doing something. Ah, I tried to. Oh, he shot me. Lightning. Don't shoot me with lightning. Rude. Fuck. Only hit torrent there, that's okay. Not ideal, of course. Fuck. Oh! I did some damage. You're no pushover, are you? Oh, blood loss. Torrent's nearly dead. Which is not what we need. We do not need to get knocked off. And he's down. Dragon Cult Prayer Book. Ooh. Sounds interesting. Learned Cleric. Prayer Book of the Capital's Ancient Dragon Cult. A text of the Knight's Faith that arose after the War of the Ancient Dragons. Given to a learned cleric to gain access to the following. Lightning Spear, Honed Bolt, Electrify Armament. That sounds fantastic. That sounds like something we want to do. Okay. Checks here in this area. Looks like we're heading up to the top here. There's a guy. There's all the wolves. Not gonna mess with all the wolves again. We've done enough wolfing today, I'd say. Anything back here behind? Not really. No item ahead. We still got all of this lake area here. Very large, very large lake. Following this path here, up to this shack, where we have quite a few things. We have a beautiful jump over that fence, ideal. We rest, we've got a painting. Resurrection painting. Alright, let's see here. It's looking... Alright, there's the minor herb tree, and there is the main castle area. So if you look on here, minor herb tree, castle area, it's going to be over this way. To line those up like that. So we've got a new painting we need to work on. It's going to be towards the southwest. Okay. We can be on the lookout for that then. Once we get over there, of course. Smithing Stone 4. Nice. Could this be a bridge? It could be indeed. A nice hole in the middle of the bridge, but functional at least. So it's heading up that way. Cool, cool, cool. Anything else out here along this area? Big rocks. All sorts of people jumping on the rocks. 
No surprises there. A crystal bud. So we've pretty much taken care of this upper section here. Next area I'd want to go is down below to this section. But it looks like we might be better served crossing here first. Unless we can find a suitable way down. Yeah, that is that's very cliff face. That's not going to get us where we need to be. Well, not alive at least. Well, we would get there. We'd just be dead. I think we'd be best served crossing the bridge here. This is just natural stone that fell like this. That's pretty impressive. Alright. Over here we've got sheep. We've got fire slugs. Let's just directly head down this way. There's a building. What do we got here? We got some guy. We got a giant over there. Some fire guys. Well, there's a set of grace. We should probably at least grab that. See a lot of interesting stuff in this area. Side of grace. And this is Eastern Eastern Table Land. Okay. Famous for their tables, I guess. Go mess with this group. They're more spread out earlier. It'd probably be beneficial to wait for that to happen. They're very fire based. Ow! My everything. Oh, look at his weapon. My goodness. And some blood loss. Ah, big fire spray. Okay, cool guys. Fire monk. Fire monk grieves. Does that have impressive fire defense? One would assume so. Black Iron Greaves featuring a flame motif, attire of the Fire Monks. The Fire Monks are guardians of the Flame of Ruin, forbidden by the Erd Tree, and said to be kept high in the mountaintops of the Giants. Interesting. Time for armor. Don't give up. Don't give up. Apparently they sometimes drop butterflies. Faith. Grace ahead. Grace behind, as far as I'm concerned. Probably a grace ahead too, though. I feel like a lot of people died to the fire guys. Which, I mean, that's not too surprising. They were spewing a whole bunch of fire. Oh, look, it's more. Ah! Off torrent. More fire guys down this path. Not exactly too surprised right now. Anything in the rocks? Again, with patrols, try a little bit to avoid them. This is the path. 
path that goes down the other side there. We got more wolves. And more just regular guys here. Let's sneak up and take care of the fire guy first. Much less impressive than some of the other guys here. Your little torch is much less significant than the fire monks. Wolves over there. There's the entrance to the towers. Very unlikely we can actually go in the towers yet. But worth checking out. A mage ahead. Okay. Didn't expect a mage. Where'd he go? Kind of like disappeared. All right. Side of grace. The Carrion Study Hall. And here's a ghost. A celestial grove, transmit to prosperity, the wisdom of the moon and stars. And obscure forever the transgressions of the princess. princess. Something fits on this pedestal. Okay. Oh, there's a pedestal. Someone died at the pedestal. Aha! Fingers, of course. It's so obvious. What have we got in here? Is a place we can actually be? Looks like we can kind of actually be here. A little surprising. That's nice. I haven't really finished exploring outside yet. But now we have this side of grace here we can work with. So that's good. All these blue flowers we can't do anything with. That's okay. Corner here, got some herba. Well, let's see if we can take care of that mage. Don't want him being a nuisance over here. Somber Smithing Stone 3. Okay. Oh, we are working on it now. That's actually a massive deal. Once I'm done exploring around here for a little bit, it is go time. It is go time and a half. Just that guy? Just a mage. Being a nuisance. It's dead now. There could be more. There could be more. Alright. We got this path again. This is the path that should connect over there. No high road ahead. Map betrayal. <laughs> House. Be wary of map. So the question is, was this path destroyed? Or is the map just inaccurate for some reason? 
Okay. Well, I would call this area out here. Explore. And now it's time for very important things. Back at the table. Alright. It is upgrades time. Upgrades time and a half. But also, we need to give in the book. Ah, oh, you will then. You have a prayer book. Dragon Cult. More cults for this guy that doesn't really appreciate it. That is a work of heresy. It's all heresy. Its incantations bear no lineage from the Earth Tree. Oh boy. Very well. I'll take it off your hands. We are just upsetting Brother Corrin so much. Here's the new spells. Lightning Spear is 17 faith. We can use that. We can use Lightning Spear. Okay. I really need to get that. 24 faith for Honed Bolt. And 15 faith for Electrify Armament. Okay. Awesome. Summons a Lightning Spear and hurls it before the caster. Charging causes the Lightning Bolt to strike the point of impact. Long ago, Godwin the Golden defeated the ancient dragon Fortisax and befriended his fallen foe. An advent that gave rise to the ancient dragon cult in the capital. Honed Bolt. Incantation of the capital's ancient dragon cult. Summons a bolt of lightning to strike foes from above. This incantation can be casted repeatedly. Long ago, Godwin the Golden defeated the ancient dragon and the cult. And then Electrify Armament. Enchants Armament held in right hand with lightning affinity attacks. Sounds like that might be longer lasted than the Black Flame Blade. He's not fantastic. Lightning Spear. May the we need to get some more through you. runes here. We're also going to be upgrading some stuff, so I'm going to put one of these to start. We'll see how expensive Further things get. Study of I can happily spare the time. Study. Electrify. So all we have left is Honed Bolt here. We're in... 7,000 runes. We can't use that yet, so we don't really need to buy it yet. There we go. May the golden order shine through you. I mean, with all the heresy I'm doing, I have my doubts, but okay. Well, I took you for dead. No matter. Lay out your own. Strengthen armament. One of the, the weapon I'm trying to work towards is. The Knight Rider Flail. A little bit more dexterity needed. But it is a strike blood loss weapon. So, similar to the Morning Star. But it's got three heads, so that's just, that's just fancy. I want to do a little bit more than just a Morning Star. The option's there, though. But not until we have a few more points in dexterity. And yeah, a three a three-headed flail. You'll need some pretty high dexterity for that. But this upgrades with regular smithing stones. That's ideal. Bloodhound's Fang. It's currently plus two. Which is 181.74. Upgrade to plus three. Now we need more runes. Looks like it's gonna be at least 2,000 for each one. So I'll pop a few here. Back already. No matter. Yep, just need to get. I guess we could have sold. How much is all these? 2,000s, 1600s, 1200s, 800s, 400s, 200s. Yeah. Strengthen, Bloodhound's Fang, 
plus four. That sounds big. Plus five. So now it is 243 plus 100. That is so much better. And all we needed for all that was the plus three. We could upgrade the finger seal some more. I might want to look into if any of my other things would upgrade better with that. I also want to look into upgrading some of these. Ghosts, we only have one, two, and one, three. I'm sure we're going to find more. I would like to upgrade some stuff. Greetings. Are you here for spirit? Spirit tuning. These are the ghost versions. I'm going to go with Oleg with his dual swords here. Wings of the Storm. Track to the notice of Grace Given Lord. Have enslaved hundreds of traitors. This name's a hero's honor. Virtue burial. So I'm going to pump some ruse to him. It's 1500 for the first one. We're doing like three. That gets us. Greetings, are you here for spirit tuning? Yep. Alright, Oleg. Your time to shine. Plus. Plus. The next one is 3,400. I just think it's cool to have this as an option. Greeter, are you here for spirit? Oleg, plus three. Then we have zero ghost fours. So we'll go over here. Replace you with Oleg. I got the FP to some of these. I'm going to make use of it. So you got Sword, massively upgraded. Summon, massively upgraded. Let's attune some new spells here. And my spells. Fire as an option doesn't sound bad. I do like doing dragon fire sometimes. Give me lightning spear. And give me electrify. Okay. If we look at our catalyst options, we got the finger seal. This one's good for god slayers, this is for bestial. This is Dragon Communion. I think we're good with just the regular finger seal. So we should probably go upgrade that too. Might as well. We've got the resources. Well, I took you no matter it's all lay out your arms then. Strengthen the finger seal. Plus seven. We have a mm. I think I might want to save some Smithing Stone threes. We're gonna need more of those than we have anyways in order to upgrade the Knight Rider flail. So I think I'll hold off on that. You only have seven of those. Should be able to get the flail up to plus eight then. At least, that's at least a start. I can work with that. Let's go test out all of our new stuff. Over at the gate front. 
Our new upgrades to the sword is going to be massive here, too. From plus two to plus five. Wow. Three hundred damage on the lightning spear. A slight range issue there, that's okay. How much does the Electrify Armament cost? My goodness. Come on, Oleg. We've got a camp to annihilate. Damage now. We got a lot more health. Weapon's still electrified. I just got the look at that spin. Oh yeah. Hold on, go take care of that guy. Cool. And that's how long the electricity lasts, that's much better. How much did these cost? We might want to put more flasks into magic. Lightning Spear is 18. Electrify is 27. Okay. Then we still have heals. We can breathe dragon fire. And swipe in with our electrified sword. With our big knight friend. Oh yeah. This is working out. So we will. He just likes moving around, doesn't he? Yep. Yep, this is working. And we will take all of this and continue heading north. Or, I guess we can head up into the study hall. I don't know how much we're going to actually be able to do in the study hall. But we will see. With our weapon electrified, our giant dual-wielding knight, shooting lightning bolts, with our map, much powerful sword. I think this is all going to work out. Next time. Goodbye.